Hey, Jippo. Yes, Helen? I got a better way to cure Kirsten's bad day itis. Okay. What could we do to cure Kirsten's bad day itis? Okay. I got something good. Okay. Anything else? Look over there! Where? Yes. Okay, Jimbo. You can look. Hmm. I don't see anything. <gasps> hey, Helen is right. I think this picture of a smiley face is our first clue. You know what we need? Our super duper handy dandy? Notebook. Notebook. Right. Okay. The smiley face. So, we draw a circle for the face, ovals for the eyes, curve for the moon for the mouth, and curve line for the teeth, and there, the face. So, the question is, how are we going to cure Kirsten's bad diabetes? So, we have a smiley face as our first clue. So, isn't the smile about... Okay, we'll save this smiley face for later, because we need to find two more clues to figure it out. Is that the phone? Hmm. It is the phone. I wonder who's calling. Hello? It is me. Yeah, I got her. Kirsten, it's the banana splits on the phone. Here you go, Kirsten. Oh, hey, Banana Splits. I can remember the first time seeing you guys when we did our Second Street Kids movie phone policy. So, I take it that you guys heard about what happened with me and Top Cat the other day? Yeah, things didn't go too well for the both of us at that you quiet know, game. I think we should check Let in me tell with you Kirsten something. later. When I was younger, I've played those quiet games with my family. Oh boy, I can't wait for the pizza to come. Like me too, Munch. Hey guys. Hiya, Jimbo. I like hi, Jimbo. Waiting on the pizza? Like yet, yeah, man. I can't wait for this delicious pizza to come. Me too. I think he's coming this way. Like wow, that was quick. Hey, rookies. You ordered this pizza? Like yeah. Okay then, here you go! Alright, thanks, Stu! And can I change? Uh, ahoy, mateys! Enjoy! <laughs> How did this feather get here? Like, we didn't order any feathers on our pizza. No way, Jackie. I think the pizza is our next clue. Looks like our super duper handy dandy. Notebook! Notebook, right. It is always prepared. We draw two lines for a total slice of the pizza, draw a curved line for the crust, add some toppings on it, and there, a slice of pizza. So how could we cure Kirsten's bad day -itis? So we have the smiley face as our first clue, and the slice of pizza as the second clue. Cure for Kirsten's bad day itis. Hmm. Okay, we'll save these two for later and move on because we need to find one more clue just to be sure. Yep, like if it's a good double A on our report cards, then we're not supposed to be talking about batteries. Yeah, hey, where'd that feather go? I think it might be buzzing off. Oh well. Let's have some pizza munch. Okay. Yep, you are always in the mood for pizza. You two enjoy your pizza. I'm gonna go check and see if there's one more clue to cure for the bad day itis. Hey guys, did I hear that Kirsten is having a case of bad day itis? Yes, Ashton. A really big situation for a feeling. Hey guys, what's up? Jimbo, I think we heard that Kirsten has a case of the bad day itis. Yeah, but is a bad day itis might catch a cold? Well, not quite. The bad day itis might be a feeling, but not a disease. It could spread every sad moment everywhere to people. That makes them have a bad day, just like Kirsten did when she feels sad about the quiet game. Oh, I knew that, Tion. Yeah, things didn't go too well for the both of us 
at that quiet game. Let me tell you something. When I was younger, I played those quiet games with my family on the car ride, but I was never very good at those quiet games ever. <sighs> I don't know how to stay silent during a quiet game. Yeah, Kirsten, I know what you're feeling, and I know how you're not much of a quiet game person. How to stay silent for the other day. Oh, Mail's here, Jimbo. That's right. And now it's my time to go get it for you. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, you right back. Here's the mail. Bill song makes me wanna whack my tail. When it comes, I wanna know. Yep, and I made it on time. I am Mr. Mailman. Didn't see you there. Hi, Mailbox. Good to see ya. Hi, Mr. Mailman. Hi, Jimbo. Mr. Melon, we got a bad situation going on here. I know what's going on here. Let me guess. Someone has put a frown upside down. Is that true? Yes, I know exactly how to fix this. Okay. Okay, so who is the person who had the frown upside down? Yeah, this student girl who could use cheering up would happen to be me, Mr. Mailman. <sighs> oh, Kirsten, what's the matter? I'm feeling down in the dumps. I have bad diitis, and it's still getting to me. Gosh darn it. It's okay, Kirsten. You know what happens when I can cheer you up? I decided to give you this letter. So, here it is, and here you go. Thank you, Mr. Mailman. Anytime, Kirsten. I'm gonna head off to work, so I'll see you later. <laughs> I gotta admit, every time I hear that part from the Mail Time song, it always makes me laugh. Yep, that makes sense. Gee, uh, I just got a letter. 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 Now I wonder who it's from. <laughs> okay, that was pretty fun. Oh, look, it's a letter from Bob and Larry of VeggieTales. And it looks like they've got some very exciting news they want to share with us. Just watch. So why do you want to use my theater? Well, sir, you know I've made a lot of vegetable shows. That's sort of your thing. Uh, yes, it's my thing. <laughs> and I've got a new idea. It's something really exciting. What Bob is trying to tell you is, we want to do a new show in a theater in front of a real audience called... The VeggieTales Show! A few moments later... Thanks, Bob and Larry, and I'll see you two later. Yeah, so you see, Jumbo, from what I heard, VeggieTales is making its comeback with a brand new show, within their first episode being a Christmas story coming up this October, before the Blue's Clues reboot called Blue's Clues and You that's coming up this November. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Well, the letter sure sounded pretty convincing. But my bad day itis is still getting to me. Sorry. Well, I'll see you later, okay? You can let me know if either you or Helen have thought of anything. Well, at least I'm in some good company from my little buddies, Seabloss, Pickles, and Pearl. Right. Okay, I'll check with y'all later. Thanks for sharing, Kirsten. Oh my gosh! We didn't know! She has the bad day-itis! Well guys, if I can make Kristen feel better, I hope she'll love all the Teletubby stuff. It looks like it. That will get rid of the bad day it is. I think it's pronounced bad day-itis, Veronica.